So do you feel like you have trouble wearing dark colors? They kind of overwhelm you and wash you out. Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you five tips for wearing black, dark brown, navy, any other dark color and having it flatter you more so you don't feel like you're overwhelmed by it. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old this year. And why do I say it? Because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I want to take a minute and thank all my wonderful subscribers. I so appreciate every one of you watching my videos and supporting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so so you don't miss any of my lifestyle, DIY, decor, and shopping haul videos. <laughs> I had one of my subscribers ask me about um, how I always dress in black and how I say my uniform is a black top and a black bottom. And she felt that black really overwhelmed her a lot or any dark color. So I thought I'd do a video and I promised her I would. I know it's a little bit after the time, but, but anyway, I wanted to do a video today in case any of you feel the same way. I want to give you five different tips now. Okay. Tip number one is when you wear black, of course, we're, you know, you're going to have black on the top and bottom. You want to make sure you show enough skin here on your neck, on your chest. I don't mean really low cut or anything like that. You know, I'm not about that. But look at the difference when I hold black all the way up. See, it does tend to wash you out a little bit. I have a lot of makeup on too. But when you give yourself some breathing space, it kind of softens your face because really we're talking about how do these dark colors affect your face. So number one tip is to keep kind of some breathing room. Also for your arms, if you do long sleeves all the way, again, you're not showing very much skin, it's kind of looking heavy. So make sure you keep to three quarter inch or shorter sleeves and show some skin. And the same goes for the bottom. As we get into spring and summer, you know, full on dark black leggings are a little bit much. But during the spring and summer, if you can wear some capri leggings, you know, the ones that come to your mid calf and maybe a sandal, that's going to lighten up the whole look of black. So tip number two is as long as we have this nice real estate there <laughs> with no black on it, let's put something in there that's going to flatter your face. Um, that's going to make it look really beautiful. I'm going to choose for myself turquoise jewelry. You guys know I have a lot of turquoise jewelry and I have to say I think turquoise jewelry looks good on any skin tone whether you have a light skin tone or a dark skin tone. Now I want to say something right now. I know a lot of you are going wow that's a lot of necklace. Well you know I'm a statement necklace girl. You know that if you watch my videos I wear sometimes two or three necklaces at a time. But if you're into the very delicate chains with the little charms and the little um the layered look put that on instead because that brings light and it flatters your face now see you don't really see the black so much now but you see the turquoise and how pretty it looks with my skin and my eyes if you have blue eyes works really really well now if you're not into a lot of jewelry you could wear a scarf that would be really pretty too um, just something that you don't have black all the way up to your face tip number three is cover up some of the black. Okay, I'm taking one of my one of my favorite sweaters here. It has black and blue and turquoise in it. You can just see it against my face, how nice it looks. Make sure to choose a color that is complementary to you and also to black. Now, we just have a little tiny piece of black showing. I have all black on the bottom, but you see how this works? Now, this could be a vest, it could be a little sweater cardigan. We're going into the warmer months. Sometimes what I do in the warmer months is I'll have a sleeveless, long, black, flowy tunic and some capri leggings, and I just put a big flowy top over it and beautiful colors. And I always try to make sure it has a touch of black so it connects to the black that you have underneath. The next thing to do so you don't get overwhelmed with black is you got to wear makeup. You have to wear makeup to... So you just don't drown in the dark colors. 
So what I recommend doing is, of course, neutralizing your face. I always recommend doing it. I'm gonna be doing a video on how to look more youthful also. But neutralize your face, get a really beautiful foundation. Now, if you leave it at that, you are gonna be drowning in black. You need to add some, some prettiness. You want something that's gonna really flatter your coloring, and that's in the way of lipstick and blush. Really important. It's so funny when I do my makeup and I just, before I put the blush on, I look like a flat canvas. The minute you put a little contour, a little bronzing, a little blush on, you come alive. Now, the most important thing in your face, I think, are your eyes. So don't forget to wear some nice subtle shadows. Some, you can actually reshape your eyes slightly. And don't forget the brows. Those frame the eyes and they're so, so important. Now, if you're gonna do a dark lip, then I would be, you know, cut back on the shadow a little bit and make your it look more natural as far as your eyes go. But if you wanna wear a neutral lip, like I usually wear, then you wanna go more out on your eyes. So your eyes beat the black anytime. Okay, so I think the makeup is so, so important. My fifth tip is to avoid drab things. When you wear black and you wear gray with it or um, you don't wear makeup and or you maybe your hair is, like my real hair color is the most ugly color on me. It's a dark brown and it I don't have gray hair. <laughs> At 70, I still don't have gray hair. But you guys know I wear a wig. You know, my hair has gotten to the point where it's so thin now. It's I'm not going to mess with it anymore. And trying to get it colored and try to get it fluffed up and everything, it just doesn't look good. When I can have my perfect hair. Blonde, rooted, shaggy, razor cut. I love my wig. Oh my gosh. And when you, um, if you're having severe hair problems, they have little pieces, bangs, and all kinds of things you can get. Don't suffer. And I, sh I should do a whole video on wigs. In fact, if there's anything I talked about today that you would like to see a whole video on, let me know in the comments below. But if you have, like I had that drab hair, it ages me 20 years, no kidding. Um, if you have, I mean, we've all not been able to go to the hairdresser, but if you feel like, oh, I want a little sassy cut and some color, um, go get that done when it's safe for you to do so. It's going to uplift your spirits. It's Every time you look in the mirror, you're going to go, yes, I look good, you know, and we want that. We want to look good. So if you feel something's drab or you've let the gray grow in and you don't want to, now, of course, you can wear whatever color. You don't have to color your hair. Um, but if you feel like during this pandemic, you really saw, <laughs> I know I did. I, in fact, I just cut my hair the other day that's underneath hair. But something that you just like, I've always wanted to be strawberry blonde or I've always wanted to have some highlights and I want a little short, cute cut for the summer and springtime, go for it. Your hair will always grow back. If you want, if you really, I'm not sure about doing this, you can always get a cute wig. Now this is the Trendsetter by Tony Bratton. It is my favorite wig. I have quite a few, but I usually wear this most of the time when I film. When I leave the house, I always wear a wig. Um, it's comfortable, it's cute. And my friends, they are looking at me when I went out to lunch with them and they're like, I, we can't even tell it's a wig. It's that good. It's not shiny or anything. And I just love it. I think it looks cute, makes me feel good. So those are the five tips that if you feel overwhelmed by black, again, show some skin, fill in with some color, cover it the black slightly with something, and uh, make sure to wear some makeup so you look fresh and pretty and youthful and all pretty colors around your neck. And lastly, if you wanna get that haircut or try makeup for the first time, just try to avoid the drabness that's going to make black just kind of wash you out. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you got inspired to try some new things. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.